Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Ped. So today I'm going to be test driving the very latest Porsche Panamera. This is the brand new model, it was only launched a couple of weeks ago. You may have seen my video when I came here to Porsche Centre Portsmouth to the launch party. Well at that launch party I talked to the guys about getting the car for a proper road test and here we are. Um, so we're going to take a really good look at this car um, inside and out. We're going to take it up the road for a spin. Really interested to find out a few things about this car. Firstly obviously what it's like to drive but also there's some fantastic tech in here. The dashboard's absolutely superb. Lots of touch screen. So let's get um, a good look around the car and then we'll take it up the road for a spin. This is the Panamera 4S Diesel, a 177 mile per hour super saloon that now holds the crown as the fastest production diesel car in the world. The restyled all aluminium body looks stunning, with the rear of the car being the biggest area of improvement. The 4 litre V8 twin turbo diesel is sourced from Audi and produces 422 brake horsepower and 627 foot-pounds of torque. The thing I love most about this new Panamera is they've sorted the back end out. I never did like the back end of the old one. I just didn't think it looked right. It kind of, I don't know, it, it looked okay from the front, got to the back and it just went all wrong. This one, I think this looked absolutely lovely. Those light clusters, I don't know what, what the difference is. It just looks spot on. The huge boot can carry 495 litres with the seats up, or 1,504 with them folded flat. The interior fit out and styling is beautiful, and this is where you find an amazing array of technology, truly stunning. The whole star of the show for me in this new Panamera is this whole driver's display, especially this uh, touch screen infotainment system. So if I move my hand close to the screen, you'll actually notice that the menu pops out from the right hand side. So I can have my navigation on here, but I can also go in here to change things like driver settings. So I've got normal sport and sport plus for both the engine and the chassis. And I can manage that from here or from a switch on the steering wheel. I've got climate control settings and what's lovely about this is I can actually slide these uh, and this changes the vents um, which is very very cool. I've got a range of assistance features. Um, on this particular car I've got Porsche Active Safe, Lane Assist and Night Vision so they're all pretty cool features. Um, I've also got uh, things like my trip uh, information. I've got a sport chrono pack on this car so I can do lap times when I'm on track and so on. And then right at the top I've got a range of settings including I've got programmable seats and I'm able to have a range of different uh, massage settings, wave and shiatsu and lumbar and shoulder which is just fantastic. Uh, what I also love about this um, touch screen is if we go into media and we look at the menu in media and I can set sound. So I've got basically full surround sound system, but I can actually control, if I was just in the car on my own, I could just have the music just focused in on me or in my occupants, um, all four of us, or maybe just at the front. And I just love that. I know you can kind of do it in other cars with faders and balance, but I love this display. I just think it looks absolutely wicked. The other thing that's maybe a little bit more difficult to show is this beautiful centre console. All of these buttons are, they're, although they're piano finish and smooth, they're actually just clickable so you can basically set all your sort of heated seats uh, and so on. Uh, I've also got, um, oh, I've got now fans coming up through my seats, which is very lovely. Some really cool stuff in here. So here we are guys, out on the road in the brand new Porsche Panamera. 
Um, the model we're driving today is the 4S diesel. Um, and um, I've literally been in the car maybe five or 10 minutes. Um, and the first thing that strikes me is, is just got a lovely feel to it. The steering's very nice, but it's a very quick car, this. It, it's kind of one of these stealth speed cars. So let's just have a bit of a chat about the Panamera. So um, never been a big fan. I think I've been open on that. Even at the launch, I said, look, I just didn't like the aesthetics of the old car. Um, I got to drive my first Panamera when I went to the Porsche Experience Center over the summer. And I drove the e-hybrid, the old variant um, Porsche Panamera e-hybrid on track. And I have to say, it was a really, really impressive car, um, especially with the e-hybrid element. Um, certainly in terms of handling and feel and go, it had it ticked all the boxes, um, but I just never liked the look of it. Um, so when the new Panamera was launched, and I was lucky enough to go to, to that, thanks to the uh, Porsche Centre of Portsmouth, um, I really like the look of this new car, especially the back end has been really sorted. Um, so it's great to get out on the road and try one. So let's put this car through its paces. There's a few things I want to try. Um, We've had a bit of a look at the at the tech on this car and the the whole center console and uh, and sort of driver's area the information that's been given to me is very very impressive i'm loving this kind of new um active cockpit area with the sat nav and the center rev counter giving me that sporty porsche feel the ride comfort in this is absolutely exceptional um, so let's let's do a few tests shall we let's kind of just work our way through some of the features. There's a few very cool features on here we want to have a look at. So right now I am in both normal chassis setting and normal engine setting. So I guess for most motoring, this is the kind of mode that you're going to be using. And the first thing I have to say is the ride quality in this car is absolutely incredible. I mean, we're on a, on a motorway at the moment, but it's so smooth, very, very beautiful. Um, even in the normal mode setting for the engine, the response and, and sort of poke of this car is, is, is very, very good. So we've basically got three settings for the chassis and three settings for the engine. We've got normal, sport and sport plus. What I'll do is I'll step through each of them at the same time. So what we'll do now is we'll go up into the sport setting for the engine and the sport setting for the chassis uh, and see what that looks like and feels like. So I can select that on my touch sensitive screen, I've got the option to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it into sport mode um, and I'm gonna put it into chassis mode um, for sport. Um, and straight away, I've got a, a much more responsive feeling car. Um, the suspension's firmed up a little bit um, and certainly I've got much more urgency on the throttle, which I like. Um, it's still very smooth, it's still very comfortable. The other thing is I'm still um, in just normal drive mode. I haven't gone to the paddles yet to go through manual gear change. Um, and, and I'm finding that the changes up and down in this auto box in drive are very smooth indeed, very relaxing. Instantly it feels like a car you could get in and do a very long journey um, with uh, three passengers um, and you've got quite a big boot to put a whole bunch of stuff there. So see if I pull away there, that this is a quick car it doesn't make a huge amount of noise it just pulls away and I'm still just in sport mode yeah it's a very quick car this so we're now step it up to sport plus so again I'll do that on the dashboard straight away there's a surge there so um, I know that this car means business I can use this little sort of I don't know whether Porsche call it a Manatino but this kind of little rotator switch on the steering wheel so that's kind of taken over from 718 Boxster and 911 Turbo the, 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 the same type of controls so I'm now in a oh yeah there's a there's a instant much more instant throttle response now the suspension's now firmed up but it's still not sort of you know gonna shake my fillings out it kind of feels if I yeah it's not gonna it's not massively firm but it's it's certainly very sporty uh. Oh, 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry guys, I've just found the uh, seat massage function, so I'm currently having a shiatsu massage, and it's, 
it's really nice. <laughs> I've got this kind of, oh, the seat's kind of rubbing over my back. That's very cool. I'm now on a bit of more open road. I've gone to the paddles and let's just kind of see what happens when I put my foot down. Oh yeah. This thing's get this thing gets a wriggle on. It's a big car, but it moves, it really does. And what's really interesting about it, it doesn't doesn't make any massive amounts of wail or noise, but it, it just it just goes. Um, this is your kind of stealth B2B as fast as you can type car in maximum comfort. Even though we're in Sport Plus suspension settings, the, the ride comfort's very good. Um, the control through the corners feels very good. It's very poised. It's just so Porsche. I love this bit of road because it's got a little bit of bump in it and it's a really great test for, for suspension and setup. Oh yes. See, that's what I love about this car is that it's a four seat executive saloon. Um, and I know when Porsche went into the kind of release the Panamera, people are saying, what are they doing? You know, they're, they're great for 911s and sports cars. You know, to go into the executive saloon market, it's a pretty ballsy thing to do. It's so well served with the likes of BMW and Mercedes and Audi. But what they do in this car, which I think is really, really clever, is it is a four seat executive saloon. There's no doubt about that. But it, it's also a Porsche. I've driven lots of Porsches this year from going to having never driven one before to having driven pretty much everything they've got. And they've all got that same Porsche DNA. Um, just a really beautiful feel to the steering, very poised on the road, um, confidence inspiring brakes, excellent acceleration. Um, and they just make you feel connected with the car, especially when you start pushing on. Uh, and you know, that's what this car does brilliantly. So do I think this car has moved the Panamera on from, from its first evolution? And the simple answer to that is 100% yes. Um, this is a car I would actually own, I would want to own. It's, it kind of, if, if I was in the market for a four seat saloon and I had the budget, um, this would be right up there. So if you're driving, I guess, you know, high end uh, BMW 5 or 7 series, Audi A6 or A8, uh, Mercedes uh, upper end C or E class, and you haven't considered one of these, um, especially if you're driving the performance versions like M or AMG or RS versions, you should probably give one of these a go because I think it will surprise you, especially now they've sorted the styling out. But from a driver's point of view, it ticks a lot of boxes. Um, it's got that Porsche feel, which is is quite difficult to explain if you've never driven a Porsche but it, it manages to do that um, and it does it in spades so you know that's very very impressive so I really do think this is going to be a game changer for them the the one that I'm really interested in and I'd quite like to drive when it comes out later this year is the the e-hybrid version of this because that's going to have obviously you know the the, the emissions means that you don't have to have uh, road tax and you don't pay um, con a congestion charge in London you get a, a combined cycle of over 100 miles per gallon you can run on full electric mode yet it's a massively powerful sports car so I think that will be a really interesting car to drive um, but right now diesel Panamera 4S I get it gets a massive thumbs up from me and a nice point of view drive from here so this whole information um, system for me is is just superb it's a real game changer for Porsche the main instrument nickel is so clean um, I've got my sat nav on the right hand side lovely big rev counter right in the middle speed on the left hand side I've got a speed limit warning there as well for each road which is really cool and then the main console where I can control pretty much everything um, it's just so easy and it's very intuitive as well. I'm a typical bloke, I haven't read the instruction manual, but I pretty much found out where everything is within, within a few minutes of driving the car. Um, so very, very um, impressive. And I believe that this whole kind of um, technology will start to permeate through the rest of the Porsche range. And I think that's gonna be a real game changer for them, superb.
Stray bit of road, 0 to 60, here we go. Oh. Now the interesting thing there, it kind of buried down a little bit and then, then it, once it was in second, it really started to pull. But uh, again, I think this car, it's not necessarily about that 0 to 60 performance, it's that mid-range acceleration and it's got plenty of that. Really, really um, responsive, that kind of mid-range acceleration you want for overtaking, getting yourself out of trouble, it's got plenty of that. I've saved the coolest feature till last. So in the center of this button that I've got on the dashboard that al allows me to select the different driving modes from Sport and Sport Plus and so on, is a button. And that's effectively a push to pass button. It gives me 20 seconds of ultimate power um, from Sport Plus mode. So it would be rude of me not to give it a go. So I've, I've come out onto the motorway to, to use this because I'm not quite sure how dramatic it's gonna be, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's move out into lane three and give it a go. Oh yeah. That, you want one of them in your car. You've basically got this very cool, and I can't take a picture of it obviously because I'm driving on the road. Um, you've got this very cool countdown that appears in your nav screen that tells you you've got your, you know, your kind of boost, your power boost for 20 seconds. Um, that is wicked. You need one of those. Even in Sport Plus, this car's quick. You push, push to pass, and it's even better. So what are my final impressions of this car? Well, in a short road test like this, you can only scratch the surface. You can think about what you what you expect from the car, uh, and then you can kind of explore it a little bit. And, and a couple of things I expected from this car was a more dynamic driving experience, and it certainly doesn't disappoint there. Um, this diesel power unit is, is phenomenal. Very, very quiet, very smooth, but wow, does it pack a punch. Um, and, and even in the normal sort of driving mode, it's a quick sporty car, but if you wanted to stick it up into Sport and Sport Plus, it just gets quicker without getting intimidating. It's such an easy car to drive and to drive quickly, and I like that. So, you know, I, I kind of expected that, and that hasn't disappointed. Comfort level-wise, um, it's an, a supremely comfortable car. I just had a bit of a sit in the back seat, and they're lovely, and there's loads of legroom, and they do do an extended legroom version of this as well. So if you wanted it more of a kind of, you know, chauffeur-driven limousine type thing, you could, you could go down that route too. Um, there's plenty of space in the back, but if you've got a family, the kids are gonna be happy because they've got their own little iPod to play with as well. Um, so, so that, you know, comfort-wise, is brilliant. Um, but just, just the tech in the car, the, the, this new display, I, I've said it a few times, I just think it's, it's superb, it's very easy to use, gives you all the information you want, it's got some really, really nice options on this car as well. So yeah, very, very impressed. So there you go guys, the sun is setting and I'm coming to the end of my test drive in the new Panamera. So I'm gonna call it a day there, um, and I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed this car, it's been everything I expected. So anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, you know the drill by now, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Um, there's only one thing for it really, I'm gonna say to you, take care guys, drive safe, and then I might just have a sneaky shiatsu massage on the way back to the dealership.